Good morning guys, we are travelling home today. We've got like a 43 hour travel day. We're currently packing and we decided to bin loads of our clothes because they've got holes in. So um, that's one of Kelsey's white t-shirts. It's no longer white due to an accumulation of sun cream sweat. <laughs> These are all my black t-shirts which either have holes in or they faded so much. Um, also got loads of socks that have got holes in, so I'm binning those as well. This is going because this was once black, not black anymore. Okay guys, we're checking out now. Feeling a bit of mixed emotions, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I know. I'm like, it doesn't feel real that we're going back, but I'm a little bit like gutted that we are sort of ending the Southeast Asia trip here. Yeah. But I'm excited to be going back into Europe because it is rainy season here and obviously over there it is going into summer yeah. so the weather should be nice and warm and sunny and I don't know hopefully we'll just have a good summer yeah and of course it'll be nice to see friends and family because you haven't seen them for ages too excited to be going home even though it's not going to be for too long we have got some trips planned like we've already said but yeah just feeling a bit mixed emotions at the moment yeah like Ash said mixed emotions gutted the South Asia trip is over uh, but excited to get back see family and friends and get back to a little bit of normality for a little bit until our next trip we need to check out, but this is probably the longest we've spent in a hotel for... A very long time. We have six nights. I don't think we've done that since, like, middle of the Thailand trip. No. In Phuket, we've done seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, if anyone wants to know how to get a Hanoi airport from the city, it's the number 86 bus. So good that it literally takes you right into the centre. And it was only... 40,000 dong, which is like £2 for us both. Yeah, so we were the first people in the queue. Yeah. <laughs> we got through, literally we like walked up to the desk as they opened. Yeah. And then everyone flooded behind us, so nice and easy. We got through, we got our boarding passes. Where are we sitting? Oh, are we sitting together? Yeah, 26 B and C. So yeah. we've got a window seat. Yeah. Yeah. No, we've got an aisle, an aisle seat. Oh, that's okay. Right, we need to get some food because when we arrive in Bangkok, we're going to be going straight to our hotel, so we're not going to have time to get food. It's a very quiet airport. It is very quiet, isn't it? It's got really cool views, though. Yeah, is that anyone here? Yeah. Considering it's the capital city. Yeah, I thought it was going to be way busier, but it's not at all. We've got about an hour to the flight now. We've just had some food, but... I can't believe how quiet the airport is. There's no one here. No, it's actually quite eerie. And it's not like it's a, an unusual time either. No, it's it's like 7. Yeah, 7pm. <laughs> so, you'd think there'd be way more people. Strange. But we fly into Don Miguel Airport. I think that's how you say it. And then we leave Bangkok from the other Subahami. Subahami. Oh, that's right. We're done. Nick, fact, we're just trying to pronounce that one. Airport. <laughs> Um, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning at 10. So we've decided that we're going to stay near the air the airport we land in and then we're going to make the trek over at like 6 a.m. It does feel a little bit weird going on a plane again. I think tomorrow is going to feel like a lot weirder because they're going to be leaving Southeast Asia tomorrow. But it does feel a little bit strange going back to Thailand yeah, for a day. That's the weird thing. <laughs> going back to Thailand just for a day. It's not even a full day. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Thailand, everyone, for all of about 12 hours. Very, very hot. I forgot how humid it was in this place. I know, it feels like it wasn't this humid in Hanoi, or we've just been in aircon too long. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but our hotel is literally around the corner from the airport, so shouldn't take too long to get there. We just rocked up at our hostel and I forgot to press book. So they were like, oh, we're full. And we were like, oh, oh we're fucked, we're fucked. Um, luckily they gave us like, a Wi-Fi password. We couldn't prove the fact that we'd booked because we hadn't booked, <laughs> but we managed to book somewhere else. It's about a 10 minute walk. It's gonna head there now. We, that means we're a little bit further off from the airport in the morning, but it we doesn't just, matter. just have to get up a little bit earlier. Yeah. We need it. Guys, we've booked a four-star hotel. <laughs> it was only £18, we thought, why not? But it's got a king bed. Hey. And it's got complimentary biscuits. Which we can go and have a look at in a minute. There's also a 7-Eleven right at the corner. 
Oh, we're literally here for seven hours. We're literally looking at the check out in about six, seven hours. Oh, uh, uh, it's pretty much the only option, guys, I've got to be honest. If anyone's looking for a quick room tour, king size bed, TV, fridge, free water, and bathroom through there. Bathroom there, balcony. Right, we're gonna head to the shop, grab some snacks for tomorrow and something quick for tonight probably. And then we're gonna hit the hay, so we'll just pick it up nice and early in the morning. Good morning guys, it's about 6 a.m. We haven't had much sleep. I'm feeling really excited. Probably like three hours sleep, but yeah, we need to head to the opposite side of Bangkok to get to the airport now, so that's the plan. We have got a busy morning. We definitely didn't utilise this hotel room enough, we had about a four hour sleep. I think it was the most comfortable sleep ever. We're definitely going to miss it being this warm at 6am. I'm not going to miss it being this busy. can't believe there's so many people around. Definitely a lot busier in this airport than it was in Hanoi yeah. Airport yesterday. A lot of people about. We are through security check-in and immigration. Oh, very smoothly. Everything went quite smoothly. There's a lot more people here than there was last time we were in the airport, so... Yeah, I think the good thing is as well, to get back into the UK, you basically don't need anything now, so it was just really, really easy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and find our gate. Now we've got to walk all the way down here. Let the 13-hour flight begin. Welcome to London! Guys, we literally just jumped off the train. We've come straight into the Wetherspoons in Victoria train station and we've just ordered some food. We're getting jack potatoes and beans, which we haven't had for like four months. I'm so excited. We're sad because I've never jack potato. We've got a pint of Lefe Belgian beer. Classic. Cherry Pepsi? Yeah, Cherry Pepsi. I've had it for a while. Cheers. Cheers. Travel day is not over yet. Guys, we also got a fudge cake for dessert, but we forgot to uh, film when we were eating like probably like three quarters of it. <laughs> we got too excited and just started eating it. Started what? Eating it. <laughs> so we've been awake for almost 24 hours. We've been awake for 24 hours, yeah, basically. How are we still surviving? We've got another five hour bus ride to go. We did sleep on the plane, but it was like. We like napped for like probably an hour, and an half. hour and a half throughout the whole 13 hours. So yeah, we're very tired. I think we're going to start getting a bit delusional. Guys, it's actually the first time that we've been to London this year. It is. Which is really surprising because normally when we travel, we normally fly out of London in the past and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so, or fly into London. So normally we've been a few times, but yeah, it's June and it's the first time we've been. We got but the coat out. It is so cold. We've got a couple of hours to spare and there's a little stop by close to us, so we're gonna head there. Guys, we came to see Buckingham Palace, but it is under some construction. They are getting ready for the Jubilee. Yeah, it's a platinum Jubilee this year, so celebrating 70 years of being the Queen. That's pretty exciting. We did want to show you Buckingham Palace, but we're not going to be able to get close because it's all cold enough. Anyway, just to show how far ahead we are with the videos, but don't worry, we are going to have a couple of weeks off, so when we pick up the camera next time, we will be back to pretty much that couple of days. That is all we've got time for on our little London mini, tour. Mini tour. Like our stop, whatever we've done. Yeah. But next time, um, 
Next time we're in London, we'll definitely do a little bit more. We'll try and do maybe like the Monopoly Challenge where you take a picture with every like Monopoly Street. <gasps> oh, that would be, be cool. fun. We definitely need to get back up to like Trafalgar Square and um, Piccadilly Circus and yeah. stuff like that, that area, Covent Garden like... and stuff. Okay, we've got a six hour bus ride. But we're on the bus, that's the main thing. This is going to be a long bus ride. I'm just going to try and get some sleep. I know, it's like really awkward on me. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have made it back to Wales. <sighs> that concludes our 45 hours of travel since leaving Vietnam. What a day. What a two days. <laughs> what a two days of travel. I'm excited to get back into my own bed. It is very cold here compared to what we're used to, considering it is June. Yeah, I'm sure we'll uh, climatise us for a couple of days. But yeah, we are going to end it here. We're going to take a couple of days just to chill with family and friends. Uh, we will pick up the camera while we're at home before we leave for our next big adventure in a couple of weeks' time. And it is a big one. But it won't be a couple of weeks for you. It'll be... The next video. Either the Almost. next a couple of videos. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Southeast Asia travel series. And we'll see you again. In the next one.